Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to Mars. In this video we're going to be talking about a very recently released study directly from NASA that suggests, well, actually another unexplained mystery coming from Mars. And this time even more science suggesting that there might be life. I'm not going to say for certain that there is life, but the chances have now increased dramatically. Let's talk about this and welcome to What the Math. In the last few years, NASA has very thoroughly studied the composition, the atmosphere, and a lot of other things on the planet Mars, and has discovered quite a lot of things that were unfortunately, or I guess in some sense fortunately, unexplainable. And one of those things I've actually talked about in one of the previous videos from last year, methane. We've discovered unusual emissions of methane that could not really be easily explained. And as you know, on Earth, methane um, kind of correlates with life. A lot of methane is produced by life, but not always. Some methane is uh, what's known as abiotic and can be produced by various chemical reactions in the soil. And for the first time ever, we've also been able to uh, very thoroughly analyze and study the composition of air inside the Gale crater that you see on the screen right here. And it's also the location of the Curiosity rover that's still active on Mars and is basically actively working for us, detecting all sorts of data and allows us to study the atmosphere of Mars with a lot of precision. So uh, in the last six Earth years, or about three Mars years, we were able to use the beautiful rover to find out quite a lot of things about the Martian atmosphere. Like for example, this is how we discovered that the surface of Mars and the Martian atmosphere is actively regulated by the CO2 atmosphere. In this case, the rover discovered that when the uh, winter comes and when Martian surface becomes a little bit colder than usual, the CO2 gas actually um, gets deposited into ice directly. In other words, it goes from the gas form into the ice form. This is known as the deposition. And when it becomes ice, a lot of the pressure on Mars, the air pressure, gets much, much lower than before. And because of this, other gases like methane and even oxygen actually go away as well. They either get deposited or disappear for some other reasons. We're not entirely sure why just yet. Then, when the summer comes, the Martian surface warms up, the ice gets sublimated or basically becomes um, gas again, and the release CO2 increases the air pressure, thus allowing other gases to coexist as well. And this is exactly what NASA has detected over the past six years. Inside the Gale crater, they've detected these changes that happen very regularly every two years, which is the equivalent of a Martian year. So in this image right here, you can kind of see that there's very obvious variations um, inside the Gale crater, and this is with oxygen and methane. So every summer there is a lot more oxygen and a lot more methane, and this correlates with the amount of CO2, and every winter it kind of drops. But this is where the mystery begins. When the scientists measured the actual values for oxygen and methane and compared them to the models that we had, basically models predicting how much of methane and oxygen there should be, they realized something was off. In the summer there was a lot more oxygen than we predicted, and in the winter the oxygen values dropped beyond the predicted values. So the actual oxygen levels were a lot more unpredictable and a lot more varied than we expected them to be. And in the last few months, what the scientists behind this particular discovery did is first of all go through all of the detection techniques. They double and triple checked every single apparatus, including this one right here, that's the one responsible for the gas detection. They also double and triple checked all of their data and all of their calculations. They also looked at some other models and other theoretical predictions. But just as we have it right now, there is absolutely no explanation, no physical chemical explanation to what could cause these unusual observations. Basically, the oxygen levels that we saw going too high and too low are currently kind of unexplainable. Like, for example, they mentioned that for the oxygen levels that they observed to naturally disappear and to become that low, it would actually take at least 10 years. And if all of this oxygen, extra oxygen, came from, for example, water molecules that were broken up by the sun, this was actually the first explanation they had, 
it would take five times more water than currently is on Mars for this to actually happen. So the existence of this oxygen and its ability to go to such high levels is very difficult to explain knowing what we know about Mars right now and also knowing what we know about the composition of Gale Crater. And since the amount of oxygen increased by up to about 30% from the predicted value, this is where NASA kind of started scratching its head and they even asked for help from, well, really anyone, the public, anyone with chemical knowledge and understanding of what could cause this, because the only other explanation is, of course, is that it's life causing it. Some sort of a bacteria or something else inside Martian surface that we haven't seen yet that is causing these fluctuations. And since all other gases on Mars follow a very similar pattern, including things like nitrogen and argon, um, all of this was detected many times, it's the unusual fluctuations of oxygen and methane that cause the most questions and the most concerns. Remember, oxygen and methane are usually gases that we associate with life here on Earth. By the way, this picture here uh, kind of made me giggle because this is the first thing that comes up when you look for free pictures of methane. This right here is, I believe, the study that was done in Australia in 2001, where they attached these really large canisters to sheep to try to calculate how much methane they were producing. You can probably take a guess where the methane came from. In any case, um, even though we do kind of want to believe that it's life, there are still a lot of other possible chemical explanations to how both methane and oxygen could be technically produced chemically by using something that's already in Martian soil and something that is not life related. And this is where NASA is actually asking for help. They're asking for chemical experts to try to identify the reaction that could potentially produce these unusual results. Today we know that, for example, this mineral right here, olivine, uh, does actually react with water and can produce methane. Both um, water and methane have a very high correlation with this particular mineral, so it could still be, unfortunately, not life-related. But the explanations we have right now are just not sufficient. As a matter of fact, to directly quote one of the scientists, this is the first time where we are seeing this interesting behavior over multiple years. We don't really understand it. For me, this is an open call to all the smart people out there who are interested in this. See what you can come up with. And this was by Melissa Trainer, one of the NASA researchers that are essentially responsible for getting all of this data. And unfortunately, other than that, we don't really know much. We know that something unusual is happening with oxygen and, of course, methane. We know that um, it's something we cannot currently explain chemically because we don't really understand what's happening. And we also know that this is something that we've detected several times. So it's definitely happening and it's something that needs to be investigated. Right now, as of today, this is probably the best sign we have of life on Mars. However, NASA is being very conservative in announcing it because it could technically be a chemical reaction we just don't really understand yet, and if it's not life on Mars, it's just going to sound really embarrassing for them. But since I don't work for NASA, I can totally go ahead and say, it is probably life? Aliens? I guess it is aliens. But now we need to go there and try to find them and investigate it in more detail. On that note, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. Check out the announcement for NASA and the actual paper in the description below. Subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it actually helps me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.